Hi, this is Chris here with Everyday VBA. We've been looking at message boxes, and now what we're going to do is we're actually going to uh, do a different response with, depending on what we say within our response, within what the response to the message box is. So, prime example here is we've got a message box. We don't want to. We want to basically go. Uh, DB, okay, hold on, I'm going to put the comma there. The reason I backspaced through that comma is because then I can go ahead and I get the IntelliSense. It just makes it easier. So I'm going to go, okay, cancel. All right, so if inbox, which is our variable, and we set inbox as our variable right there, so it's going to yell at me right there, but uh, we're sending whatever the response to that message box is, we're going to send it to inbox inbox equals if it's equal to VB okay got to put a then in and we're going to do an else and if uh, when you do your elf your if else statements it's always best to do your if and then put an end if in um, you'll get yelled at if you don't have that that uh, end if in there so what we're going to do is we're going to do another message box. Now since we're not sending it to a variable we actually don't need the parentheses so we're gonna go you entered and I'm gonna put a space and I'm gonna go and VB okay and I'm gonna put a comma VB okay only and this might not make sense now, but when you see it, it will totally make sense. Okay, now I don't need that right there. So, you entered VBOK only, and I'm hoping that VBOK only is the right constant, and this is going to be VB cancel. Okay. All right. And now what we're going to do, I've linked this button to the message box, so we're going to hit and I'm going to put a stopper here so that we can walk through it. I'm going to go through this a couple times. Okay, so you've got your title and you've got your prompt. We can either hit OK or Cancel. So I'm going to go OK. I'm going to hit. Now notice the inbox is equal to 1. VB OK is equal to 1. I'm going to go right into my next message box. You entered 1, which 1 is equal to VB OK. And I'm going to hit OK. It's going to go to the end if and it's going to walk me through the end of the sub. So now let's try it. Let's hit cancel. Now in this case it's going to work because inbox is equal to 2. That's not equal to VBOK. We're just going to go to our else which is for everything else that falls in and it's going to say you entered VB2. Uh, the other thing that we could do here is we could actually go inbox and that's actually probably the better way to do this and that does the same thing in this case so I'm going to go ahead and take my stop off stop off here F5 I've entered 1 I've entered 2 now typically what will happen in these cases is you're going to exit the sub so let me show you that real quick so let's say if we hit cancel I'm just going to I'm going to get rid of this right here and Actually, I'm going to keep that in there. I need to, I'm going to go exit, sub. And what that's going to do is that's basically going to kick me all the way out of, um, we're going to go, I'm going to put a line of code here. Actually, I don't even think it'll process. So what I want to do is we're going to go ahead and click on here. If it hit OK, it's going to run right through it. We're just fine. Notice it actually didn't even stop at that else statement because it went through here and then went to this whatever code we would have down here. Now I'm going to hit Cancel. It's going to go to my else statement. It's going to give me my message box. I'm going to hit Enter 2. It's going to hit Exit Sub and it's going to completely get out of that sub. And that's typically what you would do if you had a cancel button in there, is you would basically exit the sub. I'm going to show you really quickly what this looks like if we put this before this, because um, this can happen in your code. I'm going to 
go like this. We're going to hit cancel. It's going to stop. I'm going to hit F8. It's going to exit the sub. It's not going to execute this. It's not going to go to that line. It's not even going to go all the way through. Now, if I hit OK, it's going to go all the way through. If we actually click a stop here, I'll just show you real quick. If I hit OK, it's going to run through. I'm going to hit, I've entered one, which is actually this line right here. I'm going to hit OK. It's going to stop right there because that's where I've told it to stop. Now, if I do take this out, we go the cancel route. It's not ever going to hit that line because it's going to exit the sub. And <clears throat> that's a, a great way to use your if statement with your message box. Uh, it's, uh, you're going to use that a lot if you're using message boxes. So hope you enjoyed. Thanks again for watching this video. Please subscribe to the Everyday VBA YouTube channel. Please join the VBA community at everydayvba.com. And most importantly, learn VBA. Awesome.